YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host, Bailey. Uh, still a little stiff on this one side. I just took my first of each painkiller muscle relaxer for the day, so it hasn't kicked in. So I'm kind of, I'm me right now and not groggy me. I'm me. And I just woke up, so yes, I'm wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday. Oh well, it's still clean. I didn't get my food on it yet. Uh, yeah, so like I mentioned um, in the uh, haul video that I did yesterday, and also I think it was a vlog as well, um, I did a haul video and a blah, 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 blah. My mouth's already starting to give out on me. I did a haul and a vlog yesterday because that's all I could get out of my mouth <clears throat> before my mouth stopped working. Um, I'm going to get a few um, face paint tutorials in because... I'm sorry, everybody. I just, I, tunnel vision, nail polish, tunnel vision. That's what happens. I can't help it. Um, so today, got my trusted little mirror, a little broken mirror. Yes. Um, we're going to do a half faced, um, blue, and uh, monarch butterfly on our face. So what we are going to need, opening up my little palette here. You are going to need the following. I've got my Dark Lagoon Blue my from my Paradise, uh, my Silly Farm brand makeup. You know, my water-activated hypoallergenic paint pucks. So I've got my Lagoon Blue. Sorry. Lagoon Blue. Nice dark blue. And I've got my uh, light blue in the same brand. Put that right there, and I'm gonna need just a flat black. And also, I've got my Snazaru white, and it's a little dry, so I'm holding the puck in there until it gets moist again. <laughs> And you'll also need a, a series of, of brushes. Um, now I went, um, you guys saw in my other, other haul that we'll be posting up next. It'll be like the third one before this. Um, I got some new brushes because I was waiting for all of my uh, nail art brushes to come in. So I've got some new face paint brushes, which is awesome. And they've got some numbers on them so I can help you out here. All right, so for large surfaces, I've got this... Um, I'm guessing it's a half inch. So I hope you guys can see that. It's a half inch. That's a wide bristled brush for your large areas. And I've got sort of like a medium. This one's a number six. You can see the number. There it is. This one's a number six. It's kind of, uh, it's about a third of the width of the half inch. And then I've got a number two, which is smaller than uh, the six as well. And then my trusty little pointy pin brush for the purple. Or not for the purple. The purple brush. I apologize if I mess up. Like I said, I just took my my painkiller and my muscle relaxer that the doctor gave me for this thing right here. I just want to be able to move my face and my neck and act normal and get some jazzy time going. Okay. So. With the... My number two brush. Oh, I also, I forgot, I forgot. You're gonna need a cup of water. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna need our trusty, dirty, this is actually, this is actually clean. I just took this out of the laundry not too long ago. Um, our rag to wipe off our brush bristles in case there's too much paint on them. Okay, let's get to it. So I'm going to use my number two, and uh, so this butterfly is going to kind of sit on your eyelid here, and it's kind of like a, I'm guessing it's like a quarter, I'll call it a quarter face mask. And you want to get your white, and we're going to start our outline. And now start from the corner of your eye, and I hope you guys can see me because I'm trying to be on camera. So you can start with like a basic wing shape. 
using your eye as the base for the body. So I have this so far. And then off of that, I'm going to stagger some, I guess, wing pattern. I'm going to stagger my wing pattern. Large, small, medium, and then one big brick. So that's what I've got so far. And then we're going to give the illusion. Start in the same spot and bring it up through the middle of your forehead and you're just going to copy that first little bit off your wing like that. So it's going to kind of look like it's layered when we're done painting. And now the bottom, you're going to, you're not going to connect the two from the bottom. You're going to kind of start uh, at the, out, the outer corner of your eye. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to block out these little wingies. And now I've just pulled off the bottom before I connect this to this. I've pulled down off the bottom given like that long uh, teardrop spot. And I'm going to connect that just like so. So that's what we have so far for our outline. And I'm going to bring this up just a little more. Just so that your open area here is a little more connected. And now. Uh, in the corner of your eye, right by the wing part where you started, I'm going to do a long, hope you guys can see me, because I'm, I'm going to do this long teardrop shape. It's okay if it connects to the, um, the white piece here because uh, your black in that is going to uh, separate it when you're closer to the end of your design. And then just off of that, do a couple little dots, and then I do a little tail like so. So it looks like a little disconnected um, body. And then you can go ahead Do your little antenna, just like that. I got a lot of paint right there, so I'm gonna fix it. I hope you guys can hear me. My voice is starting to go le 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 on me. All right, so I'm gonna clean out that brush for now because we're gonna use it after. And then, so I'm going to pause and with my uh, half inch brush, I'm going to fill all this white area in including the top of my eye. So I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna be right back. All right, hey, funny hands. Okay, so I hope my light is not too harsh, but I've gone and I filled all that in and it also helps um, using your brush stroke. So like you kind of have to think when you're doing these uh, nail arts. I'm just gonna close that so I put my arm down. Uh, as you can see, I kept that separation with the wings just by a simple brush stroke. So I filled this side in first and then continued here just so I know where that break is for my wings. And now using your, uh, my number six brush. Now, some people do this with, um, a sponging effect. I like to use brushes. There's a lot of different effects you can do with brushes. So, so I've got my light blue first. Light blue, and you're going to um, you're going to start at the top, and you're just going to I call it pulling. You're going to pull that color down, and you're going to kind of start your outline, and then I bring it down to about the middle when I do it, because then when you go in with your dark, it gives you um, a better. It gives you that like. I always say gradient. It gives you that gradient color effect 
and it looks like, you know, blendy colors. Yeah, it just dawned on me yesterday, guys. I'm so sorry that I haven't been doing uh, the face paint tutorials. Um, but I've noticed, um, like watching my dashboard on YouTube, that um, a lot of my face paint tutorials have like a lot of high views. So thank you guys so much for watching them. Um, I'm going to do my best to get uh, lots out there for you. Because like I said, there's like hundreds and hundreds and bajillions of face paints on top of what I have in my own back pocket. So please request things, definitely. And uh, Halloween, gonna be fun. All right, so um, like I said, I'm just starting at the top and kind of, it's really, really a light blue. So I'm just kind of pulling it from the top in just about to the middle, cause I want that to show um, as if it's underneath my dark blue. And my favorite saying, like so, I'm trying to cover this. So, like I said, it's a very pale, and I love it. I'm trying to fix my lamp here. Oh, there we go. I'm kind of lamp blind now that I looked at it. <laughs> So that's what we got so far. All right, and now we're going to use that same number six brush. Clean it out really, really, really well. Clean it in your, I don't know what you want to call it, swatchy dirty towel. The room is starting to get bigger. Those, my medication is starting to kick in. Oh my goodness. It's not the greatest feeling in the world being on painkillers. I'm not one for a whole lot of you know, unnatural stuff. I like natural medication. You know, like if you've got cramps, put some hot water on it. Screw the Tylenol or whatever you want to take. <laughs> All right, so I'm going in with my Lagoon Blue, the same, like I said, same gauge brush. And we're going to not pull it down as far. Because as you can see, it's not as dark there with the lighter blue, and it's helping us create that color effect. And you can also turn your brush. Um, so if I was painting like this, I can turn my brush like this and do straight dashes to kind of give it uh, a different effect. And this medication also makes me sweat, so my paint is running a little... And it's icky baba. I might have to go open up a window. And like I say, always say, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. It looks kind of sloppy and icky right now. It's always the black that makes the art. Because right now it just looks like a big... <laughs> On the face, right? Right, guys? Right, guys? And girls. So the only place that I haven't put... Um... There goes my light. I use my computer screen as a, an extra light because this corner I put myself in isn't really good. So, so um, like I, like I was just about to say before my little light went out, um, the only place I haven't put color is that little teardrop on the bottom wing. Just because it, I don't know, just because <laughs> I don't do that. Um, and also, you can take your Lagoon Blue. Give yourself some blue lips. Oh, 
wash that brush out really, really good. Now I'm going to take my little pin pointy brush and we're going to go with the black. Are we going to go with the black? No, we're not going to go with the black yet. Etch a sketch that. Take two. We're going to rinse, rinse that out really, really good. And we're going to take our pin pointy brush back with our white is what I meant to say. Okay. And for good measure, because we just muddied up the outsides with our color, you're going to go as thick as you can with your tiny little brush. and re-outline just the uh, outside. Excuse you. A puppy just snorted. <laughs> and just outline the, um, just the very outside of your wings. And my hair's getting in the way now. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be pretty. Just as long as you have a thick uh, well, I should say thicker, um, white outline on top of that dark blue that you have because we're going to outline her with black anyway. So, that's what we got so far. Still looks like a whole lot of nothing, right? But like I said, black is the key. So, that pinpoint brush again. Clean her out. Wee! Wind up a storm. I'm just glad my paint's not running. Okay, now the magic. We're going to outline I need more water on my brush and my paint. And I'm going to, every time I go over one of those little bumps in the wings, I'm going to over the white and pull in. Over the white and pull in. I'm, I'll finish this wing first. Over the white. And that one you don't need to pull in. Just bring it all the way to the corner of your eye. And that's what you got so far. Anybody got a cure for an ouchy neck? Because I'd like it right about now. All right. And we're also going to I call it double outlining. We're going to just depth in those little colors that we did. Or the white that we just did. And kind of give them little edges on the wings here. Now for that piece, I only did a little hook there because I'm going to go down from the corner here. So from the very corner, but leave just a tiny little space so we can connect that teardrop tail off the wing. And And then from the very center of the eye, going past the body there, we're going to finish that inner wing. And please pardon the shaky lines. This medication also makes me shaky. 
trying to do as clean of an application here as I can for everybody. <laughs> And then just for an accent on the outside of the body here. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a dimension. And if you like, you can also do just a little bit of a highlight on your um, antenna there. All right. So I just cleaned out my brush because it was pretty wadded up with the black because I want it to be very, very itty bitty now. And what you're just going to do is, um, the insides of the wings here. I'm going to try not to muddy it up too much, but, um, you want to just pull a little bit of black down in over your blue. You're going to hear my animals going nuts because it's the morning and that's what they always do in the morning. So, I th so the black just gives it another extra dimension. And you can also in some spots Thicken up your black on the outside if you don't like the way it looks. And then that also gives your wings a little more depth. And it also, good trick, helps fix any, um, I want to say impurities in your wings. Gives it more of a butterfly look. All right. And last but not least, clean out your pinpoint brush one more time. I hope it's clean enough. Guys, with these paints, if your brushes are not cleaned out properly, the paint in the, sorry guys, the paint in the brush bristles will like, there's an example there. I had too much black in, my brush the one time and that was that all right so again with the white last time we're just going to in random random spots I wish this brush was better Kind of like that. And like I said, I apologize. Uh, my stuff starting to kick in here, so I'm a little... Ugh. So, yes. So that is... I really... These are supposed to be dots. Again, I apologize. Starting to get a little... <sighs> worse for wear here with the med. So that is the... Cute little quarter mask butterfly design. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see uh, any other designs. Um, at this point, I would probably dab on some glitter. But like I said, glitter is the herpes of arts and crafts. So, click, comment, like, subscribe, share. Uh, keep coming back. I love you guys. You guys are the bomb. I need to go definitely lay down because I'm starting to sweat. Um, I'll try and get at least one more <sighs> done for you today. Stay tuned. Stay jazzy, guys.